So here's the story of uh, a person who came to New Zealand, and uh, it is quite an interesting story. Uh, I helped him in the year 2004 uh, to come to New Zealand on a student visa. Now, uh, he was already 29 or 30 years of age, and he was married and he had a child. And he came to me and he said he wanted to uh, go to New Zealand on a permanent residency basis. Uh, but when we added up his points at the time, uh, he was not getting the required number of points. So one option uh, was to consider going as a student uh, and uh, get a job and, you know, eventually find permanent residency. Now, bear in mind that 2004, there was no uh, post-study work permit, which means if somebody came here and did a course, they had to pretty much find a job immediately after completion of the course and then apply for a work permit and then uh, eventually into a permanent residency. So the student came and uh, he, uh, in the first instance, uh, uh, he came to me uh, when we were doing his student visa and said that he had sold his apartment and uh, that money was going to be used for his uh, uh, fees and living expenses. And he had uh, already sent his wife and child away to her mother's place. So he had uh, taken this big, big plunge, uh, and uh, I felt very morally obligated to ensure that, you know, he, everything went well for him. Anyway, we, he got his visa, uh, and uh, he came to New Zealand, and he uh, started studying. And towards the last one month of us, and we continued to stay in touch, you know, over emails, and I would call him once in a while. In the last few weeks of his uh, course, he wrote to me and said that he was still not able to find a job and uh, that if he doesn't get a job, he's going to have to, uh, you know, come back to India. And uh, those days, as I said, there was no possibility of getting a further uh, visa to look for a job. So it was pretty much do or die in those last uh, four weeks. And he said he had made many attempts and nothing was happening. Uh, I felt uh, very, very uh, troubled by the fact that, you know, he had made this huge investment of money, time, effort, effort and uh, emotions and uh, uh, and so I said, let me do what I uh, let me see what I can do for him. So uh, I pretty much took it up as a challenge, uh, a personal challenge. And I said, let me help this guy and his family. So I uh, got on the phone and spoke to the director of the school uh, where I had sent the student and uh, and told the director, hey, look, uh, you know, uh, this is the situation with this person. And uh, uh, you and I both uh, have a commitment towards the success of this person, especially in view of the commitment uh, and investment he has made. So we need to do something about it. And the director was kind enough and went around uh, spreading the word uh, in uh, uh, her personal networks and professional networks. And uh, uh, it was fantastic the way, uh, you know, uh, she actually did it because in about 10 days time, we actually managed to find a job uh, for the student and I kept uh, following up practically every day to check, you know, what was the progress. But no, finally he got his job, and uh, <laughs> which was a big relief for all of us. And uh, yeah, and then he applied for his work permit and got his work permit, uh, got his uh, wife and child over to New Zealand. And uh, uh, yeah, then they had another baby here. They got their permanent residency. Uh, when I met him recently, uh, he is now... Uh, owner of uh, a very good property, uh, working in a good company uh, in the field that he had come to study here for, and he's also very active culturally in uh, the Indian community, and uh, he has another lovely uh, child now, and uh, things have been going very well uh, for him. So, yeah, I'm glad uh, that I could be of uh, some assistance, and uh, this is just one illustration of... Uh, of the challenges that uh, an international student goes through in New Zealand. And uh, I would be very, very happy to help uh, others who are in a similar situation and uh, hopefully uh, create a good outcome for them. So do not hesitate to get in touch with me and uh, I will be uh, more than happy to do whatever I can in my capacity to help you to have a successful outcome in New Zealand.